Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to explain to you how you can stream content from your Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2 VR headset to your PC using the VR Link cable and SideQuest app. Uh, now, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this doesn't cover the process of connecting the headset. Uh, if you can see at the top left corner here, it shows green, which is connected. I actually made a separate video if you see this actually not connecting. I'm going to link to it at the top right corner right now, so you can see how it's done if it's actually showing not detecting, not connecting. Uh, but if you already pass that and you're going to see a green uh, connection status here, this means that your headset is connected to your PC. Now, I've done this using the VR Link cable. Uh, or another compatible uh, cable, which means that my Oculus Quest 2 is connected right now to my PC using the VR Link cable. Uh, so basically, uh, SideQuest detects the headset and now it can actually communicate with this. Now, you need to keep in mind there are two types of streams available for us. The first one is the one using source copy, SRC CPY. Uh, which is built in, into um, SideQuest and this can actually cast the content exactly as you see it in your headset including the uh, pass-through to your computer, to your PC. The second one is actually casting which you can activate in your headset and SideQuest actually has a link for it in order to you know just quickly go to that uh, specific page. So we go to the top and tap this button you see here, right? Just tap it and you're gonna see different options. This is kind of a TV with a, a play button inside it. Uh, that's the one. Now here you can see two options at the bottom, start stream and Oculus casting. Casting is the link to the oculus.com uh, casting page and the other one is start stream. Uh, the stream options, as you can see here, the different ones, again, because this is done using source copy, SRC, CPY. Uh, uh, you can choose the bitrate, put always on top because it's gonna be a window of the stream, uh, projected of course on your computer and you can uh, sit on top of all the other windows. You can choose the crop if you're using Quest 1 or Quest 2, depends. If you're using Quest 1, tap the button Quest 1 crop. If you're using Meta Quest, Oculus Quest 2, uh, use the Quest 2 crop. Of course, you can adjust it uh, to your liking and just choose different settings. We're just editing the text there uh, in the text field. You can also choose uh, so the window starts at full screen. If you, for example, want to record it using, for example, NVIDIA Shadow Play, uh, so on, uh, and other settings uh, which you can actually play with. Give you kind of a nice degree of customization for your stream. All right, so once you are ready, uh, again, uh, if you want to start uh, the stream, you just press start stream and you're gonna see this window popping up. So that's exactly what I've done here. I tap it and then the window. Now you see a pass through that I actually see, but everything you're gonna see in the Meta Quest 2, Oculus Quest 2 VR headset, you're gonna see in the stream, even if it's the pass through, as you can see here. So basically, if you're doing something with a playthrough, you want to demonstrate something, you can actually use this, right? Now, as you can see here, again, everything you see, this includes the UI and any app that you actually use or game that you play, all right? Everything. And of course, from that point on, I can just record the screen if I want to create a YouTube video, etc. Now, casting is done using uh, inside the VR headset. If you want to start casting, uh, there are different options like the sharing button and then choose cast. And then you just choose uh, computer. There might be some other casting devices, like maybe apps on your computer that you can actually choose that support casting that will appear there as well. However, if you want to do it uh, casting to your computer, you want to see it in the oculus.com uh, casting link, uh, you choose computer. Now, if you want to see the casting, you can either directly go to this address. This is, as you can see, oculus.com slash casting type it directly in your browser. Or if you want a shortcut, you have well this button, Oculus casting button, which can just click it. This is kind of a shortcut just to get to, get to this specific page. And once we actually tap it, a uh, page will open in your browser uh, to this specific page. So this is the page. And once, of course, you start casting, 
uh, you're gonna see uh, the view of uh, what the headset actually projects. Keep in mind, you see it in a four by three aspect ratio. This is unlike, of course, the streaming, which of course we have much greater control of the crop that we're going to present uh, inside the window that actually streams the content from our headset. One thing to note is that pass-through won't be available in this specific casting mode. So you won't be able to see, for example, that this black and white pass-through. When you see actually your room, you just see a black screen. So this video that streams your room of the pass-through won't actually be shown in this specific uh, casting option. So this is it. If you have any specific question, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them uh, as soon as possible, if of course I know the answer. Um, and that's it. Consider leaving a like and subscribe if you found this one useful. I'll see you very soon on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.